Good day. In this video, I'm going to show you two very fundamental and simple ways to create your own paper textures in Painter 12. I have the paper library panel open, as well as the papers control panel and the patterns control panel. I will use all three of these to create a couple of very simple paper textures. First, in the papers control panel, I will go to the small drop down menu over here, click and make paper. Brings up this dialog box. I can pick one of these different kinds of patterns. I will pick circle and make them pretty big so that it's easy to see what they look like. I need to title it so I'll do something creative like circle. Click OK. Now you can see in the paper control panel a new paper preview is up here of my new paper. You can also in the paper libraries panel see that this new paper has been added to the paper textures library. To show you that it does indeed work, I will paint with my new paper texture. And I will go ahead and invert it and pick a lighter color and paint back into it. That is, without a doubt, the easiest way to create a paper texture in Painter. The other method is almost as easy. Here we will use the Patterns Control Panel. And I'm going to make a fractal pattern. Brings up the dialog box. You can move the sliders around to do anything you would like. You can play with them a little bit. When you've got something that looks interesting, you can pick the size. I'll go with 512, and I'll click OK. As you can see, it creates a new file here, this new fractal pattern. We simply come up and select the whole thing, so select all. And then in the Papers Control Panel, we will Capture Paper. Crossfade we don't need to worry about, and let's title it something again that's creative like Fractal. Hit OK, and now you can see in the preview, there's the new Fractal pattern, and it is also added into the library here. I'll go ahead and close this file. I don't have to save it. And just to show that this one works, let's make sure it's the active paper. And now you can see it's much more subtle because the, the features are not nearly as big, but it still paints well. I will invert it and paint with a lighter color. You can see it fills in the opposite area. And that's it. Those are two very simple ways to create paper textures in Corel's Painter 12.